Hello, dear children. When it comes to the light chapter, there we have some question related to the factors affecting. So there, students are getting confused between you know, uh, let us suppose the refractive index factors getting confused with the lateral displacement and angle of deviation. So in this video, just I am going to give you clarity so that just have once you know revision so that you don't have any kind of confusion at all. Okay, fine. So first now, let us see the factors affecting the refractive index factors affecting the refractive index so here children there are two factors first one is color or wavelength color or wavelength so children refractive index is inversely proportional to the color or wavelength as for a red color wavelength is more hence Way, oh, refractive index of violet color is more than the refractive index of red color. Second factor is that temperature. Second factor is temperature. And your refractive index is inversely proportional to the temperature. That's it. These two you can remember. Now next, lateral displacement. Second one is what more? Lateral displacement. Lateral displacement lateral displacement your first factor is angle of incidence so lateral displacement is directly proportional to the angle of incidence second one is thickness of the glass slab lateral displacement is directly proportional to the thickness of the glass slab third one it is a you know refractive index of the material with which glass slab is made so here lateral displacement is directly proportional to the refractive index and the fourth one day children angle of incidence angle of sorry not angle of incidence a wavelength so lateral displacement is inversely proportional to the wavelength for a uh, violet color wavelength is less so that lateral displacement of violet color is more than the lateral displacement of red color fine okay and the third one is angle of deviation angle of deviation angle of deviation so children here first factor is that angle of the prism here so angle of deviation is a directly proportional to the angle of the prism means what for a thick prism angle of deviation is more than that of the thin prism second one angle of deviation is also depends on the refractive index of the material with which prism is made is a proportional children uh, for a crown glass refractive sorry for a flint glass refractive index is more than the crown glass hence angle of deviation for a flint glass is more than that of the crown glass okay and here the third one is a prism and wavelength are color so angle of deviation is inversely proportional to the wavelength children for a violet color as wavelength is less deviation is more than the red color and the fourth one when it comes to the angle of incidence so for angle of incidence you know we cannot make either it is proportional or inversely proportional because initially when angle of incidence increases angle of deviation decreases and further increasing of angle of incidence causes increase in angle of deviation for this one actually we have a graph that is angle of incidence and here is angle of deviation so we get a graph like this and this is a point where this is called minimum angle of deviation so these are the factors affecting the angle of deviation now it comes to the factors affecting the shift wait more factors affecting the shift are you able to see this yeah so factors affecting the shift so here shift depends on three factors first one it depends on the depth or thickness of the medium so it is found that shift is directly proportional to the thickness of the medium and shift also proportional to the refractive index as a refractive index is more for violet color hence shift is more for violet color least is red color and third one it is a wavelength shift is inversely proportional to the wavelength 
so these are the factors affecting the shift and here one more is critical uh, critical angle critical angle we missed uh, yes we didn't cover so let us cover here that is a critical angle critical angle so critical angle depends on two factors one is wavelength and second one is temperature so children here first one is critical angle is directly proportional wavelength as wavelength is more for red color ma critical angle is more for red color least for violet color second is temperature critical angle is directly proportional to temperature which means what here as the temperature increases critical angle also increases so dear children so these factors just you just place in a single paper and i one important point i'll tell you for suppose you know factors affecting us either of one out of this five and you are not getting okay now time is uh, you know it's very short but remember one thing in all these factors one common thing is there what is that wavelength 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 so definitely wavelength is the one of the important uh, you know factor here for all cases of course it is proportional inversely proportional you should take it means except except uh, uh, critical angle except critical angle in all other cases it is inversely proportional whereas only in the case of critical angle it is a proportional children this is how we should do the analysis then easily without getting confusion you are able to do it and you can score the marks okay teacher hope it is copied just copy neat manner and don't have any kind of confusion okay teacher thank you so much all the very best